Eee, what was that? Garbage. Well, let's go, I guess. So, final one. What was that? Number three? Number four? Something like that? We better get to fight a badass, big-ass boss at the end of this, or I'm going to be very upset. Let's go back to Sanctuary, I guess. Although, admittedly, this shit is starting to get a little bit spooky. So, like, from what I'm gathering from this, there's some, like, weird being manipulating people or something like that to keep secrets or something or to do certain things. They're, like, pawns or something, I guess. So I guess there's a bigger plot around this than I thought. Whole bunch of conspiracies and weird freaky voodoo shit going on. I don't know. Because we've only... Something I've noticed, we've, go, we've only gone to planets that have vaults on them. Although I think every planet in this game has a vault on it. I'm not sure though. Except for the DLC planets, obviously, so... I don't know, maybe there's something to do with the narrative mixed in there? Possibly? Oh yeah, that's right, I actually have to go to Ava's room, I forgot about that. Yeah, so let's see, we started on Promethea, and then we went from Promethea to Eden 6, and then we went to Pandora. So what planets do we have left? We have Necro Tefeo, but we've already been to the vault on Necro Tefeo. But then again, we've already been to the vaults on uh, Pandora, Eden 6, and uh, Promethea as well, so... Maybe we go to Necro de Feo for one of these murder mystery things? Possibly? Or at Scryer's Crypt. Okay. Yeah, possess, yeah. By some weird supernatural spooky thing. Maybe a ghost? Mm, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Necro to fail, bitch. Nailed it. You are never gonna fill Lilith's shoes unless they give you a badass character arc. You better st have started out a pussy getting Maya killed and better fucking pull some badass shit later on. So if you don't, I'm gonna be incredibly disappointed and I'm gonna disown you as your parent. She better have, like, the best redemption arc in anything ever. She better put Zuko in the fucking ground, I swear to god. So if she doesn't have the best character redemption arc, I am done. Take my shirt off. You don't have Cam anyway, what does it matter? Alright, you know what? Alright. Let me put the headphones down so you know shit's getting serious. There you go. All right. Not not that you can see it, but that wind generating is me swirling my shirt in the air like a fucking rodeo star. So there you go. Titty tassels are going to cost you extra, though. And I don't have any, so you're going to have to go down to a dollar store and provide those also. Because I don't got any. But uh, you can't imagine me eating Cheetos shirtless, if that does anything for you. You're welcome. Alright, where are we going? And can I work closer to wherever our destination is? Where are we going to? Oh, we going all the way over there. Damn, bitch, that's hella far. 
Jesus Christ, alright. Guess we're warping over here then. And then we're gonna go out and get ourselves a car so we don't have to fucking foot trek all that shit. So that's hella far away. That's alright though. I'm cool with that. Alright. Get ourselves a car. I'm gonna get the wheelie mobili donut thing that I like. I like this thing. And we are gonna get a hover wheel and we're gonna get the super boost. That is the best mix of shit you could ever ask for. Alright, so I guess we're going up through here. I like the spooky mist. I don't know if that's just like planet stuff or if that's like something new. Are we going under here? Yeah, we're going under here, definitely. This is something I've never seen before. I've never been down here, so I have no idea what the fuck all this shit is. Hey, here we go. This looks spooky. Oh yeah, that looks incredibly spooky. Holy shit. Damn, son. Scryer script. This better be some cool-ass alien shit. This better be a badass, like, interdimensional fucking dimension warping alien or some shit. That shoots lasers. Specifically lasers. Cool ones, too. Like, ones with, like, neon rainbow trails or some shit like that. Like, not any discount fucking cheap-ass dollar store shit lasers. Oh, Ava's here. What's up, ho? Get a move on them, bitch! Damn. I know it's your podcast, but shit, I'm the one putting in all the work. You ain't doing shit. So get moving, slut. Where are we going? Ooh. Oh, damn. Look at that. Holy shit. The Shunned Palace. Alright. I beg to differ. That shit looks fucking awesome. Uh. What is that? What is happening? Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, boys. I know I'm new here, I just wanted to steal your shit, that's it. Fuck. Yeah, maybe by these ghost warrior fuckers with knives that are fucking jumping at me 24-7, these idiots. Can I finally get this box that has nothing in it? Oh, wait. Yeah, it has nothing in it. Is that another box? Is that another box? It is another box. Shit. Can you get your nuts out of my face, my guy? Ah, damn. I just got here. Like, I'm an interplanetary traveler. You think you could give me a break? Is there a Holiday Inn or some shit I can stay at before I get your fucking hot nuts in my face, bro? Damn. I like the music here. Music here is really trippy. It's really different, honestly, from the rest of Borderlands 3 OST. Oh, this is a door that I gotta open. Okay. Find other half of Ensign Verbal. Okay. Whoops, my bad. I was too excited about the Big Dick Palace. 
so I get humbled and I gotta come back here and actually do the mission shit. Listen, bro, can you guys, like, just die, you know? Just do me a favor and get the fuck out of here. Alright, where's this, where's this bro at? I did? Okay, like, I, I don't know where the fuck bro was at, but, alright, I guess I found him. Voice from over where? Inside the spooky palace, hopefully? Do we finally get to go explore the big fucking dick scary building? Nah, come on, dude. It's totally good vibes. Spooky, desolated, fucking decrepit palace? Yeah. On a planet that nobody's been to for fucking centuries? Yeah. Yeah. You coming or what, Soho? God damn. What am I supposed to be investigating? I don't understand. Yeah, okay, I can't shoot that. Of course not. That'd be too simple, wouldn't it? What? Would you hurry the fuck up, you slow ass child? God damn. Thank you. See, all it took was a little bit of encouragement and verbal abuse. That's all it took. Although that goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Especially when your main character is fucking Ava, stupid bitch. Crack it open, come on, bro. What you got, gate? You got nothing? Come on, dude. Get out. Come on, bro. Secret agent Cody banks that shit. There you go. Nice. Sick boss fight. Sick awesome boss. Cool awesome sick boss. Cage of the Seer. Ooh. That sounds neat. Well, I mean, there's a floating omni dimensional cube, so. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is happening? Yeah, exactly. Something is fucking with our minds and, like, putting us into four states of, like, inability to do anything. So, yeah, we must be on the right path. Something spooky? I'm trying to examine it. It won't let me. Examine it how? I, I can't do anything with it. What do you want? Oh. I should have known. Why did it stop spinning? Uh-oh. I'm gonna back up. Just in case you summon the Cenobites or some dumb shit like that. Uh... Hi? Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is happening? Oh! The prime instrument must reach the vault first? Oh, I see. So that's the... That's the guardian person manipulating the person to commit murder. Gotcha. Okay. Jump down? Alright. Yeet! Let's go. Fuck it, why not? Oh, of course, there's gonna be a big enemy gauntlet. Of course there is. Borderlands is fucking fetish. Well, besides loot. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna let my robot kill everything. I don't give a fuck. I really don't want to sit around here killing all these fucking enemies for hours. So I'm just gonna gun it quite literally. I 
Unless I have to kill everything to be able to progress, but I don't think that's the case, luckily. Ooh. Yeah. Prime instrument, I wonder what that could mean. They're probably referring to a person, but I wouldn't know who. I think that's ambiguous on purpose, unless it's Lilith. So I guess the events were manipulated so Lilith would be the first to reach all the vaults for whatever reason? So maybe Tyreen wasn't sucking the energy from the vault monsters, maybe it was Lilith or something. But how would that be? Because Lilith doesn't have the power to leech shit unless she does and she's keeping it a secret or something. Tennis did say Lilith was hiding things. So maybe Lilith actually knows more than she was leading on, and the war with the Calypsos was actually a very small-scale thing or something like that. Possibly? Nerd, yeah. Big fucking nerd. Huge conspiracies in the Borderlands universe. Trying to piece all this shit together and figure shit out. I don't know what the fuck any of that shit's supposed to mean. Obviously, they left it vague and ambiguous on purpose, so there's going to be a Borderlands 4. Obviously. I don't think anybody doubted that. Like, this game sold so fucking stupidly well, and the story to this game was, like, fucking terrible, too. Although, I will give this game a pass, if that's the case, and, like, there's actually more to the story, and this is just, like, one increment. Because if I remember correctly, before this game released, uh, Randy Pitchford said this was going to be, like, the start of something really major. Like, a big shift or something like that. And, like, I thought they were referring to this game in particular, but I guess not. So maybe there's actually more to this one story than just the Calypso Twins. And if that's the case, I will actually give this game a complete pass for the story being terrible and shitty. If this is just, just like, one minor piece of the puzzle. Or something like that, and the Calypso Twins were just, like, a small-scale fucking worry or something like that. Come on, burn to death. It's not asking much. Just forfeit your life and fucking burn to ashes. Thank you. Get the fuck out of my face, child. God damn. The seer. So maybe the seer is the uh, being at the uh, beginning of pre-sequel? Possibly? The one that said a war is coming? And they're trying to manipulate the events of the war? By keeping certain details away from certain parties or something like that? Yeah, so that was Promethea, and then after Promethea, we went to, what, Eden 6? Yeah, and this is his end. Yeah, he was on Eden 6. So yeah, we went to Promethea, and then we went to Eden 6. So this being is manipulating the events so that we get there first for whatever reason, and the only thing that I could surmise is that Wait, no, because Lilith, Maya, and Tannis were all sirens. So Maya was, Maya was the siren for Promethea. Tannis was the siren for uh, Eden 6. Lilith was the siren for Pandora, because like her and Tannis were both there when we killed Troy, but... That's right, because uh, Tyreem was going to kill Lilith, wasn't she? Like, at the big fucking mechanism thing on Necro Tefeo, and then fucking um, Typhon stepped in and saved Lilith's ass. And then got killed by Tyreen. So that would make sense theoretically, I think. Hi. Bro, do you want a nut?
That is what I hate about the Guardians in this game, honestly. They fucking move way too goddamn much. I was gonna say, how are you immune? What the fuck? I saw the red box, I don't give a shit. Oh. Are we gonna be stepping into that portal Bloodborne style? Like when you go into a... Koss land or whatever? Like the weird ocean front or whatever the fuck? The sea village? Is it gonna be like a Lady Maria clock tower type deal? That'd be cool. Also, can we just run through here instead of having to fight all these bitches? Because I really could not care less, honestly. Yeah, I think we can. Oh no, we have to kill everything so we can examine the floaty box. So if that's the case, then this last one should be Pandora, because we've had Eden 6, we've had Prometheus, so this one should be Pandora then, yeah? I think. Yeah, so obviously, okay. Yeah, so obviously the twins is in reference to Troy and Tyrene, so. So th this being is just manipulating particular events to unfold a certain way, so a certain outcome happens for whatever reason. So maybe this guardian is trying to resurrect the seventh siren, quite possibly? Maybe? Because it's manipulating certain events, it's making sure we get to a certain point in time, or like a certain place before the twins get there, and then it's making sure the twins get there before we get there in certain events. So it's just manipulating reality and like the timeline so that we do a certain thing at a certain time at a certain place. Gift you PSN gold? I don't even have any money to be doing no charity right now, bro. I bought 7 the Borderlands 2 DLC, or the Borderlands 3 DLC. I can't even fucking spend any money, I got hardly enough to pay for the shit I want to pay for. Wait, where did Ava go? The fuck? Wait, do we have to jump down here, or what? Jump down here? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so... Okay, th this is fucking trippy as shit. What the hell? What am I doing? What the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, obviously there's shit down here, but I can't go down here. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing here? I, I can't go up this way. So what do you want? This doesn't make sense, game. I, I gotta admit, like, I'm at a loss. I don't understand. I, I can't go under anything. I can't go down. Oh. Do I gotta go backward? Yeah, I guess I gotta go backward.
Right, like, I cannot see anything, so, like, I, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. I can hear Ava, I just don't know where she is. There's nowhere to go here. What the fuck? There is something I'm very clearly not understanding here. Did I have to go up higher? Can't go that way. Yeah, honestly, this visual effect is making it really hard to see shit. Just a lot of screen clutter for no fucking reason, so I don't know what they want. Oh, here we go. Okay, I don't know why the fuck that wall wasn't there before. Like, this opening was not here. Okay. So I gotta backtrack, and then what? Also, why would you have me push through a whole place just to fucking have me backtrack to the very beginning of it? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, th this isn't even the place I'm supposed to go. That seems incredibly counterintuitive. Like, I, I don't understand. Oh, I have to go back to that? Like, really? Like, why this stupid bullshit? Like, I don't, like... Okay, like, this literally genuinely makes no sense. Like... What the fuck is the purpose of that? Literally nothing. Alright. Okay. Also, why can't I physically see her, like, wherever the fuck she's at? I'm- I'm so convinced- like, I can't even fucking see anything around me, like, what do you want? The fuck? It's completely dark in here. Alright, now where? Let me refer to the map so I don't get lost again. Okay, so it's not back that way. Alright, so is that weird floor mist just fucking gone now and I can finally progress or what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the visual effect of this fucking area is starting to really annoy the shit out of me. I can't see anything. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Now the floor is still misty, so I, I can't go anywhere. Do I gotta kill all the enemies, or what? No, because they just keep spawning, so what do you want? Yeah, they, they literally just keep spawning, so what do you want? Like, I don't know where to go. Like, what the fuck? Oh, there you go. Like, oh, where the fuck was that waypoint before? It wasn't there. What the hell? Oh, are these just groups of enemies that I have to eliminate? Maybe that's what it is. That would explain why the position on the map is moving to different spots. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think I just gotta keep going to these different areas and killing the guardians or whatever. Oh, there she is. Yeah, that wasn't a fucking insane pain in the ass at all. And there's more. Of course there's more. Why would there not be more? There's always more. I do hate guardian enemies. They're fucking annoying to fight. So all they do is fucking constantly flying around. It's annoying. 
It's also partly why I don't do the Guardian takedown ever, because it's fucking bullshit. Can you hit the thing, please? Like, I'm aiming directly at it. Yeah, I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a be totally honest. Like this entire part I could have gone without, like with these fucking guardian fights. Everything else like has been interesting, but like this shit is just annoying for no reason. I don't wanna fight a dozen of these things all the fucking time. This is a bit obnoxious really. Like, it's not hard, it's just time consuming and fucking irritating. God. Is that it? God, finally, holy crap. Yeah, I could have done without that entire part, to be honest. That was just fucking obnoxious as hell for absolutely no reason. That was a little bit silly.